want them, I will add them later. And then I'm going to say, OK. And then I bold the whole thing, home tab, font group. I'm going to make the whole thing bold. You might not need to do that because uh, I think it is better to have it bolded when I'm doing a screencast. So you can decide whether or not you want to have it bold because if you bold everything, then you can't bold any individual thing, right? So I'm just going to bold everything personally. All right. And then I'm going to start with the accounting equation up top and we'll start with, with that piece of the worksheet and then we'll add to that. So the accounting equation is going to be assets and then I'm going to put an equal here. Now, when I put an equal, I don't want it to like if I hit the arrow key, it's going to try to do a formula. So right after I hit the equal, I'm going to hit enter so that it doesn't do a formula. Then I'm going to put liabilities, liabilities. Now, if I misspell anything, I apologize. I'll hopefully go back and spell check it later. And then I'm going to put a plus here. And then again, if I hit the arrows, it's going to try to do a formula. So I just want to hit the plus and then enter so it doesn't do a formula. And then I'm going to put equity. So that's my, that's my standard baseline uh, accounting equation. Let's take that whole bit right there. I'm going to center it by going to the home tab alignment. We'll center it. And then I'm going to go into the assets and do my color coding on it. So I want to make the assets green. I think that's an appropriate color. So I'm going to go up top, home tab, font group, color. And then let's just make that. I think this is just like the default green. Uh, so I'll make it. Is that? Yeah, this is the default green. And then liabilities, I'm going to make it the default red. So 